Gemini, I hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, this is 7D Tarot. Gemini, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides using your animal spirit. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you. Look at this beautiful magnetic energy. Right now, spirit's telling you to create a protective bubble around yourself because you're about to make a major, uh, you're about to ascend on a different path in your life. And right now, this download and clarity only comes when you're really tapped into alignment. Why? Because when you're in alignment, that is the formula to getting what you're looking for. I'll give you an example. Spirit's telling you alignment first, action second. Alignment first, action second. That is the formula. Why is that important? When you're in alignment, every decision you make is the right decision. When you are taking action without being in alignment, every decision will be wrong. So for example, when you're out of alignment, a lot of times like people are like, what do I do? How do I do this? How do I track my soulmate? How do I get money, right? Whenever you're out of alignment asking this question, the downloads don't come. Therefore, people are like, time's running out. They take action and they make the wrong decision. Now, not only did we not get what we want, but we're further back. But you're being told right now, alignment first, right? When you're in line, everything gets easy. I'll give you an example. Imagine I want a promotion at work. Imagine I asked my boss for a promotion when I was out of alignment. So I made a fear-based decision. I go up to my boss and I'm like, listen, I've been here for a long time. If I don't get a promotion, I quit. Ooh, not gonna go well. But imagine if I was in alignment and I go up to my boss feeling good and I'm like, listen, I love this company. I'm gonna be here for the next 10 years. And guess what? You know what would raise team morale? If I got a promotion, wink, 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 lighthearted humor, TGIF, catch you later. Guess who, you know, what option would be better? So getting in alignment is always the right step. That's formula number, that's the formula. Step number one. So for example, like the stuff that gets me in alignment is not rushing, right? You can't be in alignment spilling coffee on yourself. The other stuff that gets me in alignment is making sure that I don't eat pa uh, processed foods, right? That doesn't make me feel good. Make sure that I maybe uh, 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 journal, meditate, anything to really connect to my higher self. And also make sure that I listen to an audiobook or podcast or something, learn something I like. Easy peasy, right? These things were the most easiest thing you'll ever done in your life. What is hard is like jumping in a car and going to a job you don't want to be at. That is difficult. So this stuff is easy to get in alignment. So right now, the stuff that gets me out of alignment is jealousy, animosity, hate, anger, pain, comparison, judgment. None of those things resonate, right? They didn't even sound good when I said them, right? Because they're a lower frequency. So you're being told right now, do what's natural. Like, ah, breathing air feels natural. Now hold your breath. Huh. Doesn't feel natural because you're out of alignment with it. You're not meant to do that. So get in alignment first is what I'm hearing. Now look, the moment you get alignment, you got the sun, ace of pentacles, a miracle is about to be gifted to you. An opportunity, a blessing is about to be presented to you. And right now, this energy is gonna help change your life in so many different ways. And source is letting you know your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration. Control your dominant vibration. It will happen soon. So again, your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration. So imagine every single time that you felt something, your emotions were displayed above your head. So when you were happy, visualize a golden ball of light above your head. The world could see that. Now imagine if the world could also see when you were sad that you had a dark cloud above your head raining. Now you would really, really, really control your thoughts at that point to control your emotions because you don't want to go around, you know, uh, giving out the wrong vibe, right? Right? Because your emotions are your, basically your dominant vibration is your business card. So you don't want to go to work and let everyone know you're sad or you're upset. That's why you control your thoughts. Same thing here. When your dominant vibration is abundant, people feel that. It's actually measurable up to three meters wide. Hence, when you walk into a room, you're like, whoa, what's going on in here? It feels like a party because you can feel the magnetic energy. This is peer reviewed science. So right now you're being told control your dominant vibration and everything will be effortless. Now, why is this important? Because you got the two of swords and the devil. So there are some major energy blocks here that do have to get cleared. And right now, this, these energy blocks are attracting the wrong things. And right now, spirit is letting you know that you are a magnet, so attract wisely. I repeat, you are a magnet, so attract wisely. Why is that important? Being a magnet is a energy that you will participate in whether you like it or not. Like I'll give an example. Law of attraction, law of assumption. This law, these laws, 
are laws that we participate in consciously or subconsciously. Same thing as the law of gravity. If you climb a tree and jump off, you will hurt yourself. You can't bend the law. You can't be like, oh, this law is silly. You gotta play by the rules. So right now, being a magnet is a beautiful thing if you use it wisely. You can either attract love, happiness, and joy, or you can attract anything else that you're not looking for. So right now, it's like, almost like a tool in the toolbox, right? Like when you have a hammer, you can build a house with it or you could use the hammer to hit your thumb with it. This is a choice, right? So you want to make sure that you are aware that your magnetic energy is a tool and to be conscious of how you are using it. Now you got the five of wands and the nine of wands and you're being told right now, do not put so much pressure on yourself because that extra pressure is turning into resistance. And right now, source is telling you that your thoughts create, your emotions confirm. I repeat, your thoughts create, your emotions confirm. So when you are thinking a thought, your emotions need to match that thought. Your emotions need to match your expectations. So if you're having a hard time doing something, it's only because you have don't have brain and heart coherence. I'll give an example. Your brain can't say, yes, we can do it. And the heart says, no, we can't. It can't be like that. It can't be like, yes, I can meet my soulmate. And the heart says, it will never happen. It's gotta be brain and heart coherence. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So you're being told right now, don't put so much pressure on yourself. Instead, take a little bit of time, make sure that the brain and heart work together synergistically by taking the time to have your emotions match your expectations. Now, speaking of matching your expectations, you got the star and the chariot. So right now you're being told the turbulence is going to be over. Things are gonna get better, but it is essential right now that you are really aware that abundance flows where appreciation goes. So focus on being grateful and appreciative for everything that's taking place. Abundance flows where appreciation goes. So imagine you're like, you know, rather than look at it from like you wasted time, you got to understand you collected data. So in this case, say if you like you dated someone and it did not work out, rather than be ungrateful and be like, oh my goodness, I wasted a year of my life. Be like, I am so appreciative I got to date that person. Even though it did not work out, I know what I want and don't want. Now with that data collected, I'm ready to put it towards my new relationship. It's all about being appreciative. Or right now, if you're waiting for a promotion, rather than be like, oh man, they'll never give me that job. I'm so ungrateful. Tell yourself, wow, I am appreciative that I even have the opportunity to get a promotion. I will become undeniable because of this. So right now, be appreciative. That's where abundance flows. Now, speaking of abundance, I do see here a money block that does to get cleared. So I'm gonna show you how to use this affirmation and clear this money block right now. So right now in the comment section, write this affirmation, which means effortless attention, easiest thing you'll ever do, Gemini. Write this down in the comment section. Write down, I am a money magnet. I am a money magnet. Quantum entangle with the energy of wealth, which is your birthright. Write this down in the comment section. I am a money magnet. Let the universe know you are ready. Now, speaking of being a magnet, you got the three of four wands. That's a synchronicity right there. And this goes to show third parties are going to be entering your life and guiding you and helping you. And you're going to be celebrating something very big because of this. Now, this is, could be a referral to meet your special somebody or even a referral when it comes to like starting a business or doing something together. But right now, Spirit is telling you, radiate the energy you want to attract. And more importantly, let go of the how and focus on the why. Let go of the how and focus on the why. This is so important. Don't tell yourself, how is this gonna happen? When is this gonna happen? Where is this gonna happen? That right there is lack and you don't have control over any of that stuff. Now, the only thing you have control over is why. Why is this gonna happen? That right there is the secret sauce. So for example, rather than when am I gonna meet my soulmate, be like, why do I want to meet my soulmate? Why? Because you want to experience life with someone else. You want to be able to make them smile. You want to hold their hand and feel their energy. That right there, why? That why is going to make you feel good. Your emotions will match your expectations. And at that point, the third party will pick up on that energy and be like, whoa, something is telling me to refer Gemini to so-and-so, right? That's how it works. So right now, focus on the why, always the why. All right, Gemini, I'm gonna pull your animal spirit and get a final message from your guides. Right now, wow, I love this. Your animal spirit is cat spirit. Look at the message, claim your independence. Your independence is your awareness. It's your thoughts, it's your power. Claim your independence by taking your power back. If you're giving your power to someone else, like for example, you're giving your thoughts to someone that the love is not reciprocated, whether it's a friendship, whether it's just even a stranger, someone that's like mean to you and you're thinking of them, right now you're giving your power away. Take your power back by cutting the energetic cord with them and no longer thinking of them. Forgive them because forgiveness is a gift you give yourself and you're basically saying, I am no longer thinking of you and you are going to reclaim your independence, which is your power.
All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.